Okay, so one choose zero and one choose one. These are kind of weird ones to talk about. But we can probably figure these out without even calculating. I have one object and I want to choose zero of them. So there's only, well, wouldn't there be, there's infinitely many ways to choose zero. But Show me two different ways to choose zero. There's this way, this way. But would, would they all be the same? What do you have in your hand after you make that choice? Nothing. Are they all the same? Yeah, so there would only be one. There's only one way to do it. And let's see from our formula. There should be one factorial over, and r factorial, zero factorial times one factorial. What's zero factorial? Zero. No, isn't well, it one? It's one. Zero factorial is one. Hmm. Have we not talked about that? I think so. It's defined it's, to be one. Ah. Alright, so we got otherwise one. Otherwise we'd have problems. Yeah, otherwise we'd have problems. I have one object. How many ways are there to choose one? One. This is one. one. This okay. way. So. One and zero and one one are the same. Yeah, one choose zero and one choose one are being the same. Those are the, the kind of the easy cases. Yeah. All right. How about two choose zero, two choose one, two choose two? Hmm. Well, two, two choose zero, you can just. It's, there's only one way to do that. There's only one way to do that. Two choose one. There's two, two ways to do that because you can choose the orange one and the blue one. Okay. Two choose two. Well, there's one way. Two ways. Well, that nah. one. There's way. two ways, but it's over counting. Yeah. This. This. Okay. So just just one. Just one. When you correct for over counting. Interesting. Okay. So well, we can see we can hmm. do these without a lot of formulae. Yeah. Hmm, I see a little pattern. What do you see? In the last one, there was one, one. Yeah. yeah and in one, this two, one, there's one, two, one. Okay. So it could be one, three, three, one for the next one. Let's see. Three, two, zero. Three, two, one. Three, two, two. Three, two, three. Three, two, three. Well, that's quite. Well, there's just one way to choose the zero. Yeah. One. Three ways to choose one. Um, and then there's. Oops. You could choose this one. See the and then you can choose the end, three, okay. and then one, one, all three. It looks like it is Pascal's triangle. Notice the symmetry we said. The ways to choose one here are the same. the same as the ways to choose two. Let's see why that's true. If I take this one out, do you see the group of one? Yeah. Yep. Do you see how it creates a group of two? Yeah, because you're either counting the ones you want or the ones you don't want. Right. And it's the same with choosing zero and choosing, and choosing three. Okay. If I choose zero... It makes a group of three. It makes a group of three. So what do you think it's going to be for four? Maybe well, one, four, six, four, one. How come? One, because you can choose... But the, how did you know it would be one, four, six, four, one? That's what I mean. Well... For, you can choose, there's one way to choose zero. Oh, you calculated it out already. Yeah. Well, the one four is pretty easy to see. Okay. One four. Because then, there's, only one, there's only one way to choose zero. There's one way to choose one, or four ways to choose one. And then there's six. Well, so we need two one. Well, it's, well, it's a little hard to see how many ways there are to choose two, but you could choose one, and choose two, three, there four, was five, six. So we can use our handy six. formula. We can also use our formula. What would, the, what would the formula say about this situation? Well, it's you, you, n is four, so four factorial. It's 4 factorial over r is 2 here. Okay. So 4 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Well, let's see. So the, these cancel, and then the 2 cancels with 4, and it just gets a 2. 6. Okay, good. Two, three, six. And how about how do we finish this off? And then it's off? just symmetry for these. 
Okay, so it's just like you said, but you told me you calculated it, but you just you didn't calculate it. Well, I I was guessing that because it's the rows of Pascal's triangle here. Whoa. If you call wait a minute. If you call the one, if you call the one we. Let's talk about that in the next movie. All right. Okay.